Over the past few weeks, we have looked into the Ohio State quarterback battle that will be occurring this spring and possibly into the fall. We have looked into both C.J. Stroud and Jack Miller III's backstories, leaving us with one more player to look into, Kyle McCord. But who is Kyle McCord? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, as well as letting me know who you want to see in future episodes. Kyle McCord grew up in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, a town about 30 minutes east of Philadelphia. His father, Derek McCord, played quarterback at Rutgers from 1988 to 1992, where, according to Sports Reference, he threw for 441 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Kyle started his youth ball playing for the Pensokan Panthers, where he showed a lot of potential at a young age. Before he even entered high school, according to NJ.com, he was accurate, had a strong arm, good footwork, and good handle on reading defenses at a young age. McCord was able to dunk before high school and was also a great basketball player. Back in 2017, McCord won the quarterback MVP award at the 2017 Under Armour All-American Regional Youth Camp while also playing in the FBU All-American game in San Antonio, Texas. McCord also received his first Division I offer from Central Michigan before he even started high school. Rather than attend high school in New Jersey, Kyle McCord decided to attend St. Joseph Prep, a powerhouse football program in Philadelphia. McCord did not play on varsity his freshman year, but took over the starting job his sophomore year. During his sophomore year, McCord threw for 2,883 yards and 38 touchdowns while completing 66.5% of his passes. Kyle was named the Catholic League Red Division MVP as well as Max Prep Sophomore All-American. His high school team finished the season ranked 6th in the nation as well. McCord has always strived for perfection throughout his football career. He needed to end every practice on a completed pass, even if that meant staying after the lights are shut off in the practice facility. Every time I finish, I want to end on a good note and make sure that I cover everything. That goes with any sport I play, basketball or anything I play, it has to end on a good note. When I was in the backyard playing against my brother, I had to finish by scoring a touchdown against my brother and go into the house on a high note. I guess you could call me a perfectionist. I'm a sore loser. Going into his junior year, McCord had not lost a game he started since fifth grade in football. The winning streak was ended the first game of McCord's junior year when St. Joseph traveled to Marietta, Georgia and lost 21-17. They then beat St. John's in Washington, D.C. before losing to IMG Academy 31-25 to finish out non-conference play. McCord's junior season was cut short when he suffered an ankle injury causing him to miss the last four games of the season and watched his school win a second consecutive state title from the sidelines. McCord finished his junior season throwing for 2,399 yards and 31 touchdowns. McCord helped wide receiver Malik Cooper convert to a quarterback for the playoffs. McCord was ready to come back with a vengeance for his senior year. The world thought differently as COVID-19 delayed the Pennsylvania football season. McCord is great at a lot of things, but waiting is something he is not good at, as the delay in the season drove him insane. The season was delayed six weeks from when it was originally supposed to start. For McCord, it was never a question on whether he was going to opt out of the season or not. McCord told USA Today, I feel like for quarterback, the best practice you can have for going into college is playing actual games and getting a feel for it and calling in protections at the line and reading coverages and making life decisions and throwing the ball against defenses. I think that's probably one of the best things that you could do to prepare. Although the season had its ups and downs, McCord played extremely well. During the state semifinal game, he threw for six touchdowns. Then in the state title game, McCord threw for four touchdowns, helping his high school win their third consecutive state title. McCord finished a shortened season throwing for 1,582 yards, 21 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, Kyle McCord was a 5-star prospect who was the second best player in Pennsylvania, 3rd best pro-style quarterback, and 27th best player nationally. He received over 17 different offers. Michigan, Pitt, Rutgers, and Temple all showed interest in McCord from a young age, but the commitment was sealed when Ohio State entered the picture. After Ryan Day took over the head coaching role at Ohio State, he started looking for a quarterback in the 2021 recruiting class since they already had a commitment from Jack Miller in the 2020 class. Ohio State had already offered Drake May from North Carolina. Along with that, they extended offers to J.J. McCarthy and Jake Garcia. Although Day was offering other quarterbacks in the 2021 class, Kyle McCord was the Buckeyes' top target. They had offered him that January and hosted him for a visit in February. 
Kyle took a second visit to Columbus that April and committed to the Buckeyes. Ryan Day made a strong first impression with McCord. He told The Athletic he grew up watching Braxton Miller and JT Barrett run the Ohio State offense as running quarterbacks, so he never thought he'd have the opportunity to play there. Once Coach Day came in and kind of switched up the offense a little bit, and seeing what they did this year with Dwayne Haskins, watching how the offense works on my visits and in my meetings, I think I really fit the offense well. Talking to him and going over concepts, he would showed me clips of what Ohio State runs in the past two years and when they ran it in the NFL. Seeing that, I think if I went there, the transition, if I'm lucky enough to get the chance for Ohio State to the NFL, would be pretty smooth just because of their concept and how similar they are to the NFL. McCord never considered flipping his commitment, and once he was committed to Ohio State, he was going to be a Buckeye, becoming the first five-star quarterback since Braxton Miller in 2011 to sign with the program at a high school. According to Brian Dawn from 24-7 Sports, McCord is projected to be a future second-round pick, and his pro comparison is Matthew Stafford. Dawn wrote, Wide-shouldered frame with good height and size, strong arm and accurate, spins the ball well, poised under pressure, great leadership qualities, plays with a high IQ, can throw 15-yard outs on a line, touch to throw over linebackers on intermediate routes, has quick release with good arm angle, fits ball into tight windows, Accurate throwing on the run, moves in pocket, extends plays, needs to continue to develop escapability, more consistency needed on deep balls, multi-year starter at top 15 program. He is rated as an 8 for intangibles, pocket presence, delivery, accuracy, and size, a 7 for outside the pocket and arm strength, and a 6 for mobility. McCord's high school coach told The Athletic, there aren't many quarterbacks out there who have the arm and accuracy that he has, and I think a lot of that has to do with his footwork getting his feet aligned to his target, and being able to have a quick release. He's very coachable in a way where you tell him something, within the next two to three reps, he's going to have it exactly how you want it. Before McCord got to campus, he was told he would have the same opportunity to win the starting job as Stroud and Miller. The last two composite five stars, Terrell Pryor and Braxton Miller, both starred for Ohio State their freshman years, but neither were week one starters, according to Eleven Warrior. The last true freshman to start week one of Ohio State's football season was Art Schlichter in 1978, the only true freshman to start a full season in school history. No matter what happens, what Ryan Day has done in recruiting the past two seasons is insane, especially if they are able to hold on to Quinn Ewers in the 2022 class, making it an insane three-year stretch. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.